Hi everyone, welcome to Data Science in Everyday Life. Today I'm going to be walking through this tutorial on how to fine tune transformer based models for question answering on custom data. I'm going to link this blog that I wrote a couple of months back in the video description. So the task at hand is when you have a bunch of documents like this and you want to ask questions and extract answers from within the documents. So in this case, uh, the question is how is the costume design and ideally you want to get the stuff in yellow here. The costume design by Susan Matheson is great um, from your model. So for this, we're going to be looking at um, Hugging Face. Um, and Hugging Face is an open source platform that hosts a bunch of transformer-based models. So in particular, we're going to be looking at this uh, Roberta-based model, which is a variant of BERT. Um, and just like BERT, it's trained on this squad 2.0 data set that contains hundreds of thousands of question answer pairs. So this is basically a general purpose question answering document. Um, and then let's see how well it does on this case where this, you know, it's based on a movie and it's uh, sort of a movie specific question. As you can see, the answer is not very great, right? It doesn't have anything to do with the costume design. Um, and so, to help us out, we're going to be fine tuning based on the SUBJ QA uh, repository that has 10K questions and answers over various entertainment categories. How are we going to do that? Well, we're going to leverage Hugging Face Transformers for it. Um, and I'm going to walk you through this uh, Jupyter Notebook on Google Colab. Uh, and again, that link for the, the GitHub um, Python code would be also linked in the video description. So basically first uh, you need to um, load in the um, uh, necessary uh, dependencies um, and also make sure to connect to the GPU um, and also configure your Hugging Face related um, credentials. So yeah, you need to create a Hugging Face uh, account, but that's free, so um, it's great. And you need to download this uh, model. So in here, it's a Roberta-based squad two, and also the, the tokenizer uh, associated with this. Um, these are the maximum length and stride are just some parameters um, to take into account that these transformer-based models have a certain maximum length, and a lot of times the context is larger than these length, or even in cases where you have smaller contexts and you want to convert that to a fixed length. Um, and this is for pre-processing the training examples. So let's, it's a function for that. Um, so let's go ahead and download these train and test uh, CSV files. Um, these have been taken from the SubQA um, repository here. And as you can see, the first question is who is the author of the series? Um, that reviews basically that context. Um, interestingly, in this case, the answer is not obvious because it's talking about the main character, Maslany, um, but it doesn't have anything to do about like who's the author. So you can append things like this, answer not found, and that's quite useful. Um, in cases you don't want to give a false answer, you can just say, you know, answer not found. The other important thing is these indices that basically are, you know, where in the context the answer is. So it's character 251 and 265 um, corresponding to the, you know, the answer A uh, for answer not found and then the last character D. Um, you'll see that here. Um, you don't need all of these um, informations. So here you just need the question, the review, which is the context, the answer, um, and then the indices, which are these indices. Uh, the other thing, is you need to massage these into a certain format that Hugging Face likes um, for, for training. So uh, that's just a, bin, a bunch of ground work, grunt work that I'm doing here. Uh, next, the next step is to convert this into uh, a format that hu the Hugging Face data sets likes. So that's what this thing is. It's basically you know, pre-processing the training data set, pre-processing the validation um, data. I'm gonna skip all of this. Uh, but you can check it out in the Python uh, Jupyter Notebook. And then you can download this from trans 
hugging face repository transformers, download this auto model for uh, question answering. Uh, the other important thing is um, evaluation. So um, to just compute how well your uh, model is doing, you can check out um, on the validation data the metric, right? Um, you can choose various metrics like an F1 score or just a string match, things like that. Um, so here, this is a function for computing these metrics. Um, and then yes, you instantiate the model. Uh, this is the model checkpoint. And then you're, you're ready to instantiate this uh, hugging face trainer, giving these training arguments. So the first training argument is the repository that you want to save into. Um, and then you have the standard learning rate, uh, number of epochs, uh, weight decay, which is uh, somewhat like regularization, um, this floating point 16, which reduces the model um, size. And, uh, and then push to hub in which you can directly push the hugging face hub. And that's really cool because you'll have an instance of your model online that you can just ask questions to. So I find that really awesome that hugging face provides that for free. Okay, so now this is where you do the, um, you know, you instantiate the trainer with all these arguments um, and then you just train it. Um, the other important thing is number best and maximum answer length. Uh, this is the, just the maximum size of the answer. You don't want your answers to basically contain all the text. Um, and this is just related to the um, probabilities and the start logits and, and end logits um, that, that you want. All right, so now you run the magic, the trainer.train, and as you can see this in this case here, uh, it takes a couple of minutes, like 10 minutes to run, um, but the training loss is going down, which is a good sign. Uh, you can also provide your uh, data set for the validation loss. Um, okay, and then this is important. This is before your training, you have just through your compute metrics, you will see your exact match is two and F1 score is 10, which is, you know, it's pretty bad. Uh, closer to 100 would be, you know, the F1 where it's like giving you the right answer every time, right? Um, but after fine tuning, you'll see, you know, you have a much better exact match, 63, and then your F1 score of 66, again, on the validation data set. Um, you can do inference on a Python notebook uh, by importing the modules. Uh, and the model checkpoint now, in this case, would be um, the subj QA and not the base model, right? Um, and then you can, you know, ask questions and then um, see how it does. So in this case, you, the question is why is the model so con why is the movie so confusing? And the answer extracted here is it's an interesting movie, but it might not be everyone's cup of tea. And then, like I said, you can also go to the Hugging Face Hub, and then let's see how this does for the same question that you ask. Um, yeah, in this case, it does much better. So the costume designed by Susan Matheson is great. So okay, awesome. All right. To summarize, uh, we basically walked through how to uh, fine tune. Um, question answering transformer based model um, using hugging face on your own custom data set. Thank you for watching. Feel free to like this video um, and subscribe for future videos. Bye.